welcome to my channel. I'm Abby. Today I'm going to be talking about my Wee Jean uh, results compared to my um, Jed Match results. And since I did do 23andMe, I had to use the Genesis Jed Match because the regular Jed Match, Jed Match, um, de it doesn't like how do I say it? it doesn't transfer over correctly so uh, because of the updates to 23andMe I had to use the Genesis Gen Match so let's go ahead and take a look at that okay so I have my Wee Jean um, my Wee Jean ancestry composition up just to okay so I do have my Wee Jean ancestry um, composition up just so we can if you haven't looked at any my video on my 23andMe versus Wee Jean. I'll link it up above, but um, I want to do Wee Jean versus my Jed Match. So um, just to go over it really quick for my Wee Jean, it is um, saying that I'm 75.49% Chinese, um, and out of that, um, I am Gaoshan, 39.11%. Southern Han Chinese 27.46%, Dai 4.09%, Hmong 3.02%, um, Layu. Um, and if I'm saying that incorrectly or any of these incorrectly, let me know. Just comment below. Um, that's 1.79%. And then I am 3.46% Cambodian, 3.28% Thai. 3.18% um, Kin, which I know is Vietnamese. For South Asian, I have 5.86% Indian, 1.87% Bengali. Um, for Middle Eastern, I am 1.23% Iranian. Uh, for African, I am 0.66%. And it does have the Yoruba um, tribe is 0.58% and then in Bodhi it's 0.07% and then lastly it is um, I have Oceanan which is the Papuan which is 4.90% so for Genesis um, it's really different um, when you log into Genesis you want to click on let's see if I can go back here Maybe it won't let me Let's see. I'm hoping it will. I guess it won't right now, but you have to click on this add mixture. Um, I think it's heritage. And then I had a really hard time trying to figure out Jed Match. So I found this site, which is geological genealogical musings.blogspot.com. And without this, I would have been completely lost so what you want to do when you get to the admixture utilities you want to pick a project and you want to pick that through um, there are several options that you can choose so there's option one which is the MDLP option two it's a Eurogenes option three do do cad do do cad I don't know how you say that but um, Harappa world Ethiohelix, um, Punt DNA, DNA L, um, Jed Rosia DNA. So since I am mostly Asian, I want to, I think, let's see, let me look at where um, it talks about where it's, hmm. I'm trying to read here. I think it's this one, which is number three. Um, the Dodecad or 
Dodecad. Um, this project says it focuses primarily on Eurasians, but mostly of the account. Most of the calculators are geared more towards Asian and African ancestry than European. It is not ideal for Europeans, but may be useful for people with mixed ancestry. Um, so once you pick that, let's go ahead and pick that. And then I'm going to hit continue. And then um, you want to pick your calculator. So to for the... One that I picked, which was the De Dodecad, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick the um, V3-12, uh, V3, which is 12 populations, mostly Asian and African, two European, no Native American. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, oh, i got to put in my kit number, let's see. Usually it'll just populate. There we go. And then you're going to hit continue. And then it pops up. So let's see here. So on this for Genesis Gen Match, it's letting me know that I am 1.70 East European. 2.48 West European, 1.05 Mediterranean, 2.01 Neo-African, 9.33% South Asian, 6.40 Northeast Asian, 75.09 Southeast Asian, and then 1.43 East African, and then I have a Paleo, Paleo African. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on Oracle. And then on this, what it does is it um, it populates what you are mostly made out of and goes down from there. So I'm 75.09 Southeast Asian. And then what it does is it goes into the distance of where, like, where that population of Southeast Asian and such like where um, the population sharing um, so a lot of it is saying Cambodian Thai Vietnamese Han which um, actually does show up on my Wee gene um, and then I'm not a hundred percent sure how this like the mixed mode population sharing goes but it's saying a lot of Cambodian and then my DNA I guess is m like matching up with people who have Finnish, Polish, Russian, Slavian, German, Hungarians. Um, so I'm not really sure how that works um, because the Wee gene is saying I'm mostly Chinese but the Genesis Jed match is saying I'm very Cambodian, which uh, Weijin says I'm 3.46%. So I'm not really sure how that all works. And I know it all depends on the DNA that they are pulling from for GEDmatch and the DNA that Weijin is pulling from. Um, and just for clarification, GEDmatch is free. Um, so I think I, my next adventure would be using Ancestry.com. I don't know if it's going to give me the same results as 23andMe, the way it kind of gave me a general, um, you're this much Southeast Asian, you're broadly European, broadly, um, I can't remember what else it said, but it did have a couple things that I wasn't able to read um, just because it couldn't match me up very well with, I guess, from the data that they had. So anyways, if you are, if you did upload your information to GenMatch, definitely check out this blog spot. It really helped me a lot. Um, I can check and see what other compositions I can find through GenMatch, which I did do the other day and it just kind of gave me, I came up with not just Cambodian, but I had Thai, I had all these other crazy things. So um, 
I wanted to go back and um, show you kind of like what another thing that I just found out which was I think admixture admixture oracle with population search um, so I was born in the Philippines and you can find out more about my story and I'll link the video above and that's about my adoption story so anyways I am Filipino so I, you can type in Filipino to this admixture And hopefully my internet doesn't go crazy slow, but it looks like it will. I might have to do this in another video. Um, so let me go ahead and go back to the vid my regular video. Okay, so for the Jed match versus the Wee Team, obviously they are completely different. And it left me pretty frustrated when I tried looking at the different admixtures to see what I would use for this video. And I don't know, I don't know what to think really. Um, I know I do have a DNA land which I am going to make a video on to let you know what that says versus weed gene. Obviously these are all different from what 23andMe has said. What um, what I do want to know is what have you been able to find out versus your 23andMe or Ancestry or my heritage family? I can't remember the other ones but that versus your weed gene versus your DNA land what have you found out that they are completely different and I do also know that they do say different things because of what people have um, loaded into their systems or what their what the database that that company has and how they can match you up Obviously nothing's going to be perfect, nothing's going to be 100% accurate for that to happen. Every single person in the world would have to um, get their DNA like tested and, you know, done at a company and then loaded into the different um, free sites like GEDmatch and with the different projects with GEDmatch. So, Anyways, I don't know what to think, <laughs> honestly. Um, with GenMatch saying I'm mostly Cambodian, I don't know. Oh, I do want to add that I will make a video on the different, the new admixture that GenMatch had added, which is that um, you can put in your ethnicity and then I'll match you up with that ethnicity I guess of what your DNA says and what their data has anyway so I um, am gonna do a sec a third video on what DNA land says compared to we gene so keep an eye out for that if you have not seen my previous video on 23andMe versus we gene or my 23andMe results I'll go ahead and link it up above I hope you have a great day don't forget to subscribe and comment below let me know what you think give me your thoughts tell me what you have found out about your heritage and i will see you in the next video all right bye bye